Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Same Spirit Gaming. My name is Matt. And my name's Jordan. And it has been quite a while since you've all seen me play in Scourgebringer. <laughs> me included. But I'm back because I wanted to show what all I have done. I've gotten like literally all the things here. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I was playing that much. Um, wow. Now, some of this stuff like that I have specifically disabled. Because cursed okay. altars, I assume, are like the altars of blessing, but they do the opposite. Why would you want that? <laughs> because you might want an extra challenge after completing the game. Oh, okay, okay. These these top three literally don't unlock until you complete the the like main story. Oh, so you finished the, of game. the game? I I got through. Yes and no. I got okay. through like the main ending that you would think of. Um, however, as hinted at by this, there's more. Oh, whoa. I can go in here and there's extra challenges to enable wow. down here. You can switch this, uh, criterion there is the name of the final boss, by the way. Okay. Um, but if I switch this... It says there's something that lies beyond. Oh. So there's like a secret end after you get the first end. Cool. I've not gotten wow. that one yet. This is interesting. Nice. And you can like change difficulty stuff here. Um I never would have guessed it goes to the roots. That's interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, so like you can add even further challenges on top of all of that. That's awesome. Now that one doesn't show. seem like it's that much more difficult. It just makes the second wave of enemies appear sooner. Yeah. Um, traps I, remain normal. Ooh, four points of damage. Yeah, that's definitely more difficult. <laughs> See, now, the realm size thing could actually potentially be helpful. Yeah. If you've got things where, like, healing items are dropping and whatnot. Right. <laughs> but, yeah, there's all sorts of extra challenges that you can do. Um... Oh, and I guess I'm forced to uh, start the ordeal from here. I can't, like, back out of this. <clears throat> okay. Nice. Um, one of the things that oh. I unlocked is if I got three or more, uh, you know, blessings in the previous run, I can start off the next run with one automatically. Wow. Man, you made a lot of progress. <laughs> well, I guess you kind of beat the game, so... Well, I guess... we could... Well, I don't know. Let's see how far you get. Uh, if, if, if I get far enough, it would possibly take multiple recordings, though. Okay, okay. Is the problem. I see. been a while since I saw this game. Looks awesome. I would like to maybe get to a shop. Show you another thing. So, it mentioned smashing items in shops. Yeah. Literally, all you have to do is go up to whichever one you want to do and press Y, that is the smash thing, it'll change it to a different one. Oh, cool. Usually uh, of, like, a different quality and stuff. So, wow. like, if you've got a one star and you smash, it'll typically give you a two star and that kind of stuff. Mini so that dude. one thing that we were thinking, man, this seems pointless, you know, no uh, increase in cost for smashing items in the shop, like, 
Why would you smash items in the shop? Yeah. That's why. I see. So you could essentially just cycle around through all the options without increasing any of their costs. Whereas Definitely. normally, they end up costing a bit more as you cycle through. Very cool. Or like, each time you cycle through all the options, it makes them cost more the next time around the cycle. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Alright. I learned in wow. previous runs that I've been way stingy with some things like the focus. <clears throat> oh yeah, also, if I don't need ammo or different things like that, I could smash that and get more blood. Oh my gosh. That's super useful. Could you do could you always do that? Yeah. Pretty oh, sure man. I could. <laughs> <laughs> I might save the health item there just in case. Yeah. I have also generally been very stingy with ammo, I realize, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I play Ooh, games shield. in a similar way. As long as you don't use the stuff I should use. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> needless uh, to say, I learned a fair bit about Scourgebringer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Since last you have seen me play it. <laughs> All new to me. Now, supposedly there's some, like, kind of cheese the game strategy a little bit with your attacks. Okay. I don't know how much I trust it, but some people have said if you basically just go, like, uh, attack, attack, smash, attack, attack, smash, pretty much in that pattern, you're darn near untouchable. Wow. But, I don't know if I'm disciplined enough to keep up with that pattern. <laughs> also, it just seems less fun. Yeah, if there's a one combo that makes it easy. That, that move is really awesome, though. I also keep forgetting I have the Dragon Punch thing. You know, that attack. Where oh, I, like, yeah, yeah. dash and smash at the same time. Right, yeah. Alter of Blood. Uh, reloading energy slowly recharges automatically while there are enemies around. Don't need Judge Blood. Quality Looter, yeah, that sounds like a good one. Anyway, this is pretty much going to look a lot like it has in the past, so... Alright. <clears throat> feel free to uh, interject some Bible verses at any time. I just might not be able to... Uh, Listen very attentively to them. <laughs> that is fine. That's how Blue Fire was for me. So. Let's see here. Oh, wow. Okay. I am reading from Matthew 26. I feel like we haven't focused too much on the actual, like, Last Supper and, you know, Jesus' last days, I guess. Um, unintentionally, but it's, I guess there's a lot to... The problem is, in my opinion, it's hard to pick out, a, like, a piece to talk about since we only do, like, small passages usually, so it's like, if you're going to talk about the crucifixion, you got to talk a lot about it, but... Anyway, there is one little part here that I wanted to highlight. Um, this is the night before 
and uh, it's in the Garden of Gethsemane. Um, that's how I've always heard it pronounced. I don't know if other people pronounce it differently, but <laughs> yeah, Gethsemane. Gethsemane. Um, Actually, when I was real little, my family went to a church that was named after that. Oh, okay. Gethsemane United Methodist. Well, then you are, I'm sure, very familiar with this <laughs> part of the story, as I'm sure many Christians are. But I just, it's been a while since I have read it, and so it just kind of jumped out. So, um, okay. This is right after he Jesus tells Peter that he's going to deny him three times. And it says, um, then Jesus went with his, oh, sorry, this is uh, Matthew 26, 36 through 42. Didn't say which verses it was. So. <laughs> then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and two sons of Zebedee along with him. And he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away a second time and prayed, My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. And it just, I, it's like so relatable and it just like demonstrates how Jesus is, truly is fully human as well as fully God, but this is just showing the fully human part. I mean, how many times have we all probably prayed, like, you know, please help me out of this situation. Like, this is terrible. Yeah. Um, but here is Jesus, a perfect person, doing that and just, like, basically being scared because he knows what's coming. Uh, just, I don't know, a really amazing moment um and a side of jesus that there's not really i can't really think of any other spot besides um when he says father why have you forsaken me but the, like those two points are the only vulnerable times really that we see jesus but it's also very important to see that too um yeah and i also um, I think it's interesting that he goes back to Peter and says, uh, watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And it's kind of even, I feel like he's talking about himself at the same time. Like he knows what's going to happen. He knows what's supposed to happen, what is going to happen. But the flesh part is the weak part and so not only are his disciples falling into that when they fall asleep but jesus is kind of feeling that he's feeling the weak flesh and just yeah the knowing what he's gonna have to go through and like the weakness is his humanity his desire to not go through with that yeah yeah so very very interesting piece like i said it's kind of hard to always pull just a small piece from that period of time i guess you could say but uh yeah it's it's just a side of jesus we don't see very often and yet i find myself making similar prayers in way like easier situations <laughs> like of course i'm never gonna have to go through what jesus went through and yet i still you know when i'm feeling certain ways i still make prayers like that and it's, it's like it's nothing compared to, <laughs> yeah. to that but it's just part of being human i guess 
That, I remember you using that one time <laughs> when you have one HP. Do a ton of that, damage. Yeah. It's one of those things where you kind of hope you don't need it, though. <laughs> yeah. Decided to increase the max HP. So it's even less likely <laughs> that that'll be necessary. <laughs> you know, I can actually, I guess, save my progress partway through and maybe uh, be able to come back to it in another I would video. I interested to see because I never saw the final boss. So, yeah, I don't know. I'd be interested to see it. Yeah, no guarantees that I'd be able to get there, but... You heard it here first, folks. Matt is promising he's going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I do keep wow. finding these things that increase max HP and whatnot, though. <laughs> Tell you what, let awesome. me smash that up one more level. Ah, no, that's not what I wanted. Ooh, that'll be good, but I need a lot more blood for it. I'll come back. <laughs> yeah, that seems really good. Challenge room. Should be able to get some here. Also, I think I've uh, found myself dashing a lot more <laughs> since, uh, yeah. or like compared to when I played this before in previous uh, recordings of ours. No, thank you. These laser guys can be a bit of a hassle. How did I get hit by that? I guess I was just slightly too close, even though I was going in for a smash. Wow, Cut. that's a lot. <laughs> More max HP. Jeez. Is that enough More ammo that I continue to not use. <laughs> is that I think it's enough, enough for the thing? Yes, it is. Cool. Okay. Cool. Two more max HP and a shield. Oh, there is a maximum max HP, though. Okay. It's 20. Oh, you're almost So there. I'm going <laughs> to stop doing that soon. <laughs> I was trying to... Do a smash. Oh well. So, out of all the like world zone things in this game, yeah. At least other than the sixth one, which I have no clue about because I haven't gotten to if there is one. Um, I could say fairly confidently my least favorite is actually the fourth. Okay, interesting. Not the fifth one. You would think it's the fifth one, but no. <laughs> my least favorite is the fourth. Weird. And if I get there, you'll definitely be able to see why. Well, there we go. My max HP is maxed out. <laughs> and you have two shields. You're in yep. good shape. Now I'm gonna not go so much for, uh, you know, health boosting items. Yeah. I figure after this, uh, world here, that would definitely be a good spot to stop. I thought I hit that a little bit sooner. Oh well. Still got a shield and 20 HP. Yeah, nice. Uh, hello. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to figure out how to number the. Uh, I could game. go right to the boss now. Well, I feel like you're ready, but. Handle yeah, this dude. I don't think I ever saw you get 
past the third floor. That'll be interesting. Yeah, I intentionally let it do that thing because I can just like reflect that stuff Dude. back at it. That was a ton of damage. Ah, eh, crud. No. <laughs> Fine. You know what? Be gone. <laughs> Increases fury recharge and blast 32 reload speed. Cool. And a full reload. Right. I might do a few other rooms. Yeah. But yeah, I think assuming the save assuming the uh, saving works the way I think it does I should be able to continue this in it another be, episode. Yeah, it would be weird if you had to do one run all continuously, because that's a lot of time. Yeah, why else would it give you a save and continue option? I mean, unless it's like, hey, save all the... Really? Okay, that was dumb. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Unless it's like, okay, just save all the different things that you've collected, like the judge blood and whatnot, but meh. Yeah. Especially at this point, that would be very unhelpful. Right. Wow, nice. There's the still a just... fair number of rooms to go here, but... Yeah. Ooh, hold up. Your... Health item that I remembered I left here. <laughs> Your movement's so smooth. It's just like... You make it look easy. Oh, and I'm sure I'm not even close to the best at this. <laughs> Could you imagine how skilled at this game you would have to be to do it with all those, like, difficulty modifiers and stuff on? <laughs> I'm tempted to kind of look up a speed run of this, because... Well, a speed run would not be doing all the rooms that I'm doing. Yeah. I would be kind of interested to see what, like, power-ups they go for. Those are always interesting to watch. I did the smash at the right time. Why? Okay. Weird. Fine. No more messing around. <laughs> no Get more Mr. Guys. Nice Matt. Oh, this guy. I eh, I don't want to give up my health, though. No yeah. thanks. Not a fan of that particular uh, shopkeeper. I thought I aimed that much further to the right. Deflecting those uh, little pellet things, but whatever. No. <laughs> Just no. Big no to you. Sometimes I unintentionally end up pausing <laughs> while I'm attacking and wind up kind of getting myself in trouble for it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just going to let that resolve itself. <laughs> and once again, I am realizing I have been stingy with the fury. But at this point... Yeah. I mean, I already did the boss, so... Yeah. Fine. True. Nice. Uh, this would have been a better set of enemies to save it for, though. Yeah, he'll be fine. No problem. Shield. I like that. Okay. 
Nice. And that does it for that world realm area thing. Um, is there anything from here that I might want? I've got a decent gun. I don't know if I really... I mean, I could see what else is here. Jeez, a loo. <laughs> <laughs> don't even have enough for that, so, meh. <laughs> Cross grenade. Uh, I could increase my sword damage. Let's do that, because I use the sword a lot. Not a bad idea. Uh, where's the exit? Here's the exit. Well, or the portal to the next world. <laughs> the Wasted, the wasted pit. pit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I never saw you beat this, I don't think. Well, uh, tune in next time and you might. Woohoo! Save and exit. I'm excited. I am excited. Oh, yeah, it shows a three next to the continue, so I assume that means okay. I'll be continuing from that world. Yes, that would make sense. Anyway, all right, well, um, <laughs> come back next time for more Scourgebringer, I guess. We're back. We are back with Scourgebringer. Not sure how much longer, but because <laughs> I'm not <laughs> necessarily bit. planning on playing it until I get all the way through now. Yeah. At least but at least for a little bit. Yeah. Might as well see awesome. what we can do. I want to at least get to the fourth world so y'all can see why I dislike it so much. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> I mean, it, you seem like you're in a in a pretty good spot right now with how much health you have. Yeah. But, but we'll see. have to wait and see. All right. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next and, time. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>